The sanitarium uh, Sunrise Up and Running team has been training for around 11 weeks now, and it's fair to say that in that time, our long-suffering <laughs> coach, Gaz Brown, has heard about every excuse in the book to avoid those weekly training sessions. <laughs> Be it blisters or ball patches, haven't heard that one. Gaz has heard them all, so it's time to add a supersized serving of motivation in the form of Rod, uh, Rob Matthews, veteran marathon runner, world record breaker, and completely blind. Good morning to you both. Morning. Thanks morning. for being with us, guys. Yeah, Rob, um, perhaps we should start with you and you can tell us how you lost your sight in the first place. I was actually born with a degenerative condition called retinitis pigmentosa, or RP. Um, I had some sight. I learned how to use it, I suppose, and I think that's been an advantage to me. And it just about gone by the time I was um, 20. Mm. So, um, yes, yeah, so I, I had to sort of either feel sorry for myself or take the positive route. And um, I managed to start running, find people to come, come out running with me, and uh, the rest was history. You've obviously um, not let blindness get in your way at all. I mean, you've done more than running. You've done just about everything you possibly can. Oh, yeah, I like to challenge myself. I mean, yeah. you know, I like to set goals, and, and I learned that I could afford to dream once I started running. Running really uh, liberated my life, and, you know, 25 years down the road, I've won uh, eight Paralympic gold medals, set 22 world records, and still hold the 800 and the 1500. Well, let's have a look at the gold medal that you've fought in for us today, because this is from when? This, right. is, this is the um, 2000 uh, Olympic gold from the 10,000 uh, that I won in Sydney. Probably one of the, one of the best medals I've won. I, I, was, I was down with five laps to go, sort of 10 metres behind third place and somehow I managed to claw my way back into the race and uh, yes. yeah and uh, yeah ran a blinder. <laughs> oh, we, can, we, we have to talk about your um, your attempt on going to the South Pole is it? You North want to Pole. do that in just, just a moment? North Pole do you say? Yeah. yeah. But Gaz what can we learn from all of this? Oh, I, th I think it's quite inspirational, like, to, um, to see him You train out. Rob, yeah? Well, I train him in strength, but um, I've been out running with him once, and uh, his guide runner, Ken, I don't know, it's, it's quite death-defying watching them run, because they some come so close to the trees, you know, they only just skim them, and <laughs> I know Rob's had a few uh, close... Near misses? Well, you've had a few quite nice accidents. And not you? even so near. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, truly inspirational, and, and it's great seeing, um, you know, when you hear excuses, it's like, well, that's nothing compared to someone that runs completely blind. Yeah. What about the people who have to run alongside you? I mean, obviously, you know, you're going to need someone who can run well, or do you have sort of, do they have shifts? Where they confidence goes both ways. I've got yeah. to be confident that I'm not going to be running into anything. Um, yeah. I went running with a guy once, and within 200 metres, he ran me into a, a fence, a, a tree, oh, and fell yeah. off a curb. Oh, so oh, he was gone after I didn't that? Run with him again. Yeah. Um, but, and, and he's got to know that I'm going to do what he wants me to do when he wants me to do it. You know, I've, done, I've run cross countries, and, you know, I, I haven't let any anything um, stop me, anything be a barrier. How do you overcome that fear, Rob? Because um, you don't I'm have it. Right. You don't, you you don't, don't know what's going to happen, so well, you don't I have mean, it? And, and it you, could, you could literally, anything could happen at any time. You know, if you're going to worry about putting one foot in front, in front of the other, you might as well just sit at home. Mm -hmm. um, I know that, that, you know, that's black and white, but, you know, I just, I just don't, don't worry about what happens. I just have uh, absolute faith. I was running in um, white, the White Tax on, on Sunday, and um, I hadn't realised we'd crossed the road, and there was a car coming towards us. I thought, Jesus, he's coming, he's going to run us over. And I just, it's, that sounds stupid, but I closed my eyes, and I just, I just thought, no, I, can, Racing the, for the impact. can knows what he's doing, and the car passed the other side of us. I hadn't realised, because we crossed over the road, and I hadn't realised uh. that. So, you know, you just really just have to, you know, it's blind faith. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you like running? I mean, obviously, your other senses must be heightened, so when you are running in the white axe, it must be beautiful to it's, be smelling the that, bush. That's and really nice. And, and to sort of picture, the, having been able to see, I can picture the, the scenery. You know, you, you, mm. you get up high enough and you can see the east and the west coasts. Um, and, you know, I love the sound of the birds, the tuis and, and everything. You know, I'm, I'm so, so glad I immigrated here uh, two years ago. Um, my, uh, Sarah, um, my wife, uh, she, she told me that the weather was always good. <laughs> <laughs> so, she so conned you. Yeah, she, she, called, she called me good, yeah. and but um, I was thinking of going back to England for some decent weather. But yeah, um, yeah. But yeah since, since I've come here, I've had, a, I've had a ball, and you know, we've now got a ten-month-old son, Thomas, who's, who's really um, open my eyes up, and you know, he's, he's just fantastic. Fabulous. Yeah. Gaz, let's just check in before we go with how uh, we're going in our half marathon and quarter marathon efforts. Are you happy with progress at the moment? I think so. I think it's been great. I mean. <clears throat> 
little bit, bits and pieces have been popping up, but it generally yeah. as a team, impressive to see that everyone's now getting towards eight kilometres. One of the things that I've noticed, I've done eight a couple of times in the last week or so, is I'm yeah. starting to get a little, few niggles. So now is probably the time to be implementing things that you talked about us to at the start, such as massage. Massage, you're Rob's yeah. a massage I'm therapist. Massage Fantastic. Yeah. I, can, I can help you out there. It's, <laughs> it's so important at I this stage know that. to get the massage and stretching yeah. Yeah. down pat. Because, yeah, my calves are suddenly yeah. going, oh, hang on a minute, you're running sure. 25 k's a week and it's hurting. Rob, mm. just quickly, before we do go, you were going to attempt to, to go to the North Pole. Pole. Yeah. Yeah. When are you going to do that? Well, um, the, the, there's, uh, it's called the Polar Challenge, and that's um, basically in, in, in um, May, uh, April, May uh, next year or the year after. It's you know whether we've got enough time to raise all the money we need to. It's 650 k's. There's 80 percent of the world's population of polar bears there. So so it's a three man team, and someone <laughs> has to carry a gun. Have you got and a I, website? I, Rob, I don't that know if I'm going to be allowed to. Um, <laughs> that we can go to for more information yeah, yeah, on dub, that. Dub, dub, RobMatthewsMBE.com, and it tells tells you how. I'm a, a motivational speaker, and um, and uh, you know that's you know really busy All as well. Right. Would you mind no having a look at your gold medal? I would love to have a look at that. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Wow, it's, it's a bit worn gold medal. It's a bit what worn? It's a bit worn because he just uh, wore it to bed and brings it around and shows yeah, everyone just, all the time. He doesn't stop wearing it actually. Yes. When I won it, won it, I was kept wearing it the whole day, and I had quite a neck ache at the end of it. It's, it's <laughs> always like two hundred and fifty grams. Yeah. yeah.